India is currently witnessing a record surge in COVID-19 infections fueled by the fast-spreading Omicron variant. With an upward move in cases every day, the country is under the grip of an aggressive third wave. India has reported over 264,000 fresh COVID cases. The latest single-day rise is 6.7% higher than that of a day ago. This for the second consecutive day that India has registered over 200,000 COVID cases in 24 hours. Daily positivity rate has now reached 14.78%. Recovery rate stands at an impressive 95.2%. The country's caseload also includes over 5,700 cases of the Omicron variant. Health authorities, meanwhile, have reported an additional 315 COVID fatalities in the last 24 hours. Despite steep surge in cases, rate of hospitalization continues to remain low. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired an emergency meet on Thursday to review the COVID-19 situation in each state and union territories. In, during his meet with the Chief Ministers, Prime Minister Modi emphasized the need for local containment in order to stem the rising cases. Further speaking about the new Omicron COVID variant, he said that the initial skepticism about Omicron is slowly getting cleared. However, stressed on the fact that we need to be more alert to curb the spread of this fast-spreading mutant. More than 1.55 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been administered since 16th of January last year. The newly implemented, implemented vaccine drive for kids have also picked up the scale. Over 30 million youngsters between the ages of 15 and 18 years have received first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. This is nearly 42% of the country's eligible teens. And for more on this developing story, we are being joined by Dr. Ritu Saxena, Nimesan Head of Emergency Loknaik Hospital in New Delhi. Thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Saxena, now India has reported the highest case tally. This is an evolving situation, we know. But how do you assess the transmissibility and severity of this variant? Uh, actually, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me here. Actually, uh, this variant, uh, Omicron, is creating so much of panic uh, amongst people. But luckily, uh, in India, we are dealing with COVID patients uh, uh, for last, uh, I mean, two years. And this time, the COVID variant is so mild that the admission rate is really very, very uh, low. If we compare, actually, with the previous waves, this time, the patients who are coming to Lok Nayak Hospital or various daily government hospitals or the private firms, they are having very less symptoms. Only those patients who are already having comorbidities, like they are uh, HIV patient, they are immunocompromised, or they have diabetes, or they have some cancer, or they are suffering from some heart diseases. They are only the ones, or CKD patients, they are the only ones who are getting admissions in the hospital and they are getting sick. Otherwise, uh, the normal people, they are getting uh, positive and they are sitting at home, they are taking only a few medicines and they are becoming all right. So this time... Uh, this strain is really very mild, but uh, definitely the transmission rate is very high because if one member is infected, the whole family gets infected, the whole uh, office gets infected. So that definitely we need to take precautions, but uh, uh, we should not get panicked about right. this variant. Absolutely. Like you mentioned, hospitalizations are still lower than recorded under the Delta variant. Now, there is also a booster campaign that has been rolled out. As I mentioned earlier, there is vaccines that have been rolled out now for children between the ages of 15 to 18. How effective do you think these booster doses are in face of emerging variants? Actually, what we see in the hospitals are only those patients who are coming. Uh, they are mainly the elderly ones or those who are suffering from comorbidities. So if we uh, give uh, vaccination to those people on priority basis, like uh, we are giving booster doses or precaution doses, whatever we say, uh, definitely their antibodies level will go high. And if they are being affected by the virus, definitely their symptoms will be very mild and uh, their chances of getting hospitalization will be definitely low. So uh, government is doing uh, excellent work by vaccinating uh, those at risk and the healthcare workers definitely because uh, healthcare workers are the front workers who are uh, frontline workers who are dealing with the patients on day to day basis. And uh, definitely they are uh, getting, uh, I mean, they are getting infected. But uh, luckily they are getting infected, but they are becoming all right also uh, after a few days. Like uh, we are giving only seven days, uh, uh, I mean, home isolation to these patients mm. and the healthcare workers. So definitely the cycle goes on. 
and uh, one by one the workers uh, healthcare workers are getting infected but they are luckily getting better also uh, so uh, right. this drive is really good and 15 to 18 we are covering it's also i think i suggest that everybody should be uh, covered with the vaccines so that the antibodies level should remain high and if the virus changes its uh, i mean the strain further it definitely will be protected with vaccination only right now moving on the latest wave as you know is driven by the omicron variant what do we know so far about the what drives a variant in and what drives it out is there a specific period in between variants that can be identified to then target and stem the virus from further developing actually see uh, viruses uh, this virus like any other viruses this keeps on changing its uh, shape or we can say strain because definitely uh, with the passage of time this uh, i mean uh people gets uh, infected people gets vaccinated so their anti level antibody levels are high so if the virus is not changing the strain uh, they are not able to uh, get entry into the human body so definitely virus is doing his uh, level best to enter the human body and to infect the person but uh, definitely we humans are uh, much intelligent than the virus so we are also getting vaccinated we are also getting infected and developing the antibody so this uh, process will go on for some time more and uh, maybe after a few years we'll forget about this uh, covid virus right and also lastly going forward uh, what measures should we all keep in mind and what how, when can we expect the numbers to show downward trend actually i think uh, for last two days uh, the number is not uh, i mean uh, increasing luckily uh, it is increasing but not to a very uh, high extent so by the uh, end of this uh, january i guess uh this will uh, settle down and uh, if the new variant will come up let's see what uh, what will be the effect of that virus but definitely this will go on as i said so we should focus more on the uh, i mean academics we should more focus on the other diseases also because people who are dying this time with this omicron they are mainly the people who are comorbid and uh, sometimes they have to search for the hospital because they are not getting proper treatment uh, when once they are diagnosed with covid they are being uh, shunted from one hospital to another i think we should make some policy regarding this so that everybody even if they turn out to be positive should get the treatment and uh, they should uh, definitely uh, definitely they should uh, i mean uh, we should uh, focus on the other diseases and uh, uh this uh, omicron or this covid will be treated like any other virus uh, like swine flu or any other uh, virus and right. later on i think uh, uh, we should move on this is the only message i can give and we should uh, use all the basic precautions like masks hand sanitization and other things uh, this should be become a i mean human practice and they should uh, we should practice this day in day out all right all right dr ritu saxena thank you so much for your time and your inputs on this yeah thank you so much Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.